<laughs> Welcome back to GMT. It is time for Legal Ground. So grab your cup of coffee or your tea and have a seat. This is one of my favorite segments all week long. This means that McCormick Law Firm owner, Cagney McCormick, is back. This time to talk about what to do after an accident. Hello, Cagney. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. I uh, love having you here. So we want to tell our viewers that they can get their questions answered by you live on TV. All they have to do right now is text the questions to 214-977-6028. Before we hear them, first things first, you get in a car accident, what's the first thing that somebody should do to protect themselves legally? Absolutely, get the police out there, have a report made, whether it's in a parking lot or I-35, have somebody make a report. You know, why would somebody wanna wait for the police? Well, we find it a lot these days that people are giving fake insurance cards, mm. fake information, bad telephone numbers, you're hoping the police get all the right information so that we can do a background search on the owner of the vehicle or even the driver's license provided. Okay, so another thing is getting that documentation, getting the auto insurance policy, and you're saying there have been some fakes. What's the best way to get that information and try to make sure it's accurate? Well, we hope the police officer will give that to you. It mm. doesn't always happen. Sometimes they say wait for the report, which could take up to seven days. But uh, if the driver won't give it to you, you know, take a picture of their license plate, take a picture uh, of their driver's license, and then call an attorney. We can find it. Document, document, document until you can get in touch with that attorney. Okay, we've got a viewer question. This one is interesting to me, Cagney. Uh, somebody writes in and says, good morning. My daughter was the driver and I was the passenger, so a mom in the passenger seat. She was at fault, but as a passenger, what am I entitled to? Thank you. So this happens a lot in single vehicle accidents. Um, it's called a family exclusion rule in Texas. You can make a claim against your driver even if you live with them or their family member. It's more difficult and there's a lot of rules uh, regarding that settlement, but it can absolutely happen. You should definitely call an attorney because it's complicated. Okay, the daughter might want to call an attorney too. Okay, here's the second part to that question. Insurance just called me stating I'm entitled to $1,500, just need to sign paperwork. Just want to know if this is right. So she got the offer. Does she sign? What does she do? Listen, if the accident just happened, let's say in a couple of days or a week ago, and they're already offering you 1500 they probably owe you a lot more. That's what mm. I tell people when they call us every single day on this. Uh, you should speak to an attorney. If you're injured, don't ever accept any check from the insurance company until you know what's wrong. You, it kind of goes back to like the basics, I think, of negotiations. Don't go with that first offer or at least counter in some way. Well, I mean, they're making you an offer. They haven't even seen your medical records. So you don't even know what's wrong with you. You shouldn't even consider it. Can you think of like a number uh, with PLAS clients where they were offered a number, then they hired you, and then the number that you actually got them? Oh, many times. That, that $500 to $1,500 offer is called a walkaway check. Mm -hmm. We get that very cons uh, consistently every single day. And we, you know, we settle all the way up to hundreds of thousands of dollars easily. It's just because you don't know what your injury is. Yeah. Yeah, okay, and that's why you want to call people who know what they're doing. Um, what would you say is the biggest mistake people make after an auto accident, if you had to say one thing? Not going and getting medical treatment within, you know, say 10 days of the accident, if not that day, and also not even getting the contact information of the driver. That hit you. Okay, so get that documentation from your doctor and also that other driver. Absolutely. Cagney, thank you for answering our questions as always. And you're going to be back next week, correct? I believe so, yes. And people can submit their questions in the meantime. How do they do that? Uh, by email. Uh, C. McCormick at theinjuryattorney.law anytime. You guys, he just gave you his personal email address, so take advantage of that. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Okay, McCormick Law Firm offers new clients a free consultation. Call 972-972-4444 or go to notatfault.law for more information. Legal Grounds has been sponsored by McCormick Law Firm. Thousands helped, millions paid.